ไว้เมียเฮอาบาก็ไว้ให้เฮกุเปโนกาบาโอโพลีอาเฮฟาลามาอาวาเคอิลูนาพาอาสุวาอิเคลีอาบาโอโพลีอาอิดานาอันดาจูเอฮีเอฮีเอมาลานะมาลานาไมคาอูเมพุนาเมฮิโลเฮเลมาอิโคนาเมโกฮาลาเมฮัมมาคุวาเอกาเอเลโอไอพิโอเอโปลาโอมาฮิกิเฮอุกาโอไอเมเฮอาบาคาวาเอไฮเฮกุเปโนกาวาโอโพลีอาบุเฮพาลามาอนาอวาเคอาอิลูนาพาอากูอาอีวีเกลีอีกาบาโอฮีอาอีจานาอนาจูเอีเอีเอมาลานามาลานาไมคาอูเมพุนาเมฮิโลเฮเลมาอีโคนาเมโกฮาลาเมฮามาคูอาเอกาเอเลโอไอพิโอเอโลาโอมาฮีกิเฮอุกาโอไอเมเฮอาบาเขาวัยไฮเฮกุเปโนกาบาโอโพลีอาหูเฮพาลามาอนาอาวาเคอาอิลูนาพาอาคูอาฮีวีเทลีอีตาบาโอฮีอาอีตาฮนาอันนาจูเอฮีเอฮีเอฮีเอ <laughs> And there you have it, One Nation TV. Hey. Back on my huh? <laughs> shape shifting. <laughs> Justices here that will be seen sitting on all of these cases and letting our voices be heard in in intelligent, clear, compassionate ways about our First Amendment rights and treaty rights, our rights to protect the water, our rights to stand together, um, our rights to have a fair process. Like I said today, um, it was a small victory because we prayed for continuance. We prayed for. Due process, which means for a fair trial, which is also one of our rights, and we feel that today was a small victory. It was an answer to prayer. So we thank all of you for praying with us, putting the tobacco down, putting the prayers up in any way that that is sacred to you. So keep those prayers going and um, continue to stay tuned into this movement because this is the new front lines. And this is where all 569 water protectors help to create new standards and help to affirm the laws that exist. And one interesting thing that that's going to play out here is um, treaty rights, because one question that we have from Wharton County Courthouse is, what jurisdiction do they have over Lakota territory? So these are things that we're addressing in our cases uh, one by one. So thank you so much for being with us and for calling into Morton County Courthouse and writing in, writing in on um, on our, our free speech, the Constitution, on the treaties uh, still being upheld. There's something that you all can research called a, uh, I believe it's called a writ of quo warranto, which means for the courts to prove their jurisdiction over treaty lands, which are supposed to be sovereign. So these are things that we'll all learn as we go through this process and as we um, continue to stand together and stand in solidarity. So I want to say thank you to all of our water protectors too who are out in the snow and the negative 50 below. That is serious commitment. And we're doing this for you and for your children, for our children, for the next seven generations. So thank you all so much. Okay, can we get your name and how you spell it? Yes, it's Kelly Love, K-E-L-L-I, Love. 
Hello, B. Hey, 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 that we are violating the law and the Constitution and our rights to do to due process, our constitutional rights in general, when it's clear they are engaging in a massive rights violation that deserves outside investigation and intervention. And people, people like our brother here who is a headsman, uh, Malia, my wife, and probably five other people were charged here today. And we just want to send a message out that we have their back. We're trying to support them the best that we can. And we are in a state of transition at the camp. The camp is very much alive. People's spirits are up. Now that we've gone through the, the, the polar vortex, we've come out the other side of that, that freezing stage here and we're ready for the next one. And we're only going to continue to grow stronger. The point right now is to exercise our treaty rights and to hold that ground, to stay there. We're entitled to that lawfully. And we need to prepare for a Trump presidency and everything that that represents. So I went over time, obviously, Brother Isaac, but I wanted to give a little quick update. So if anybody if you have nothing else to say, we can look forward to the next one. All right, thank you. Yeah, my name is Chase Iron Eyes. Signing off again. <laughs>